like it's been a long time. Probably because it's been 11 months. But that means it's once again that time of year where we're all pestering our loved ones to get us all our favorite little playthings at the expense of their budget, rather our own. Which means it's time for Toy Sember. And I thought this year I'd start with something really big. Something I got for Christmas just last year. The Nika Portal Gun. What do you want? The gun wouldn't fit in the box. Specifically, we are looking at the customizable portal gun, which you'll remember as being the cheap one that ticked off all your friends who bought the limited originals. At almost two feet long, this is a one-to-one -one scale of the signature device from Portal. As befits Aperture Science, it is sleek, cleanly designed, and very, very white, with black exposed in the front on the more machine-looking parts. A few things to note, the claws in front are articulated if you want to adjust to a certain look, and the tubes are hard plastic so they don't feel like cords, but they won't break down with age either. Inside the main shell is the handle with a trigger and thumb switch. Pushing the switch up or down turns the lights on to one of its two firing modes, the shell setting being of course blue and orange. This means there's always a flicker when it switches colors, which always bugged me. Can't complain about the lights though, the center tube glows nice and bright and matching lights glow not only on top but inside the barrel on the front. The claw even lights with red LEDs like in the game. Pull the trigger to get sound effects from said game. <coughs> There's actually two slightly different sound clips in there which is a nice subtle touch. The second mode features the right sound as well. Of course the advantage of this toy is switching between models. You can do that by moving the switch on the bottom of the handle. Shell is right, Peabody is middle, Atlas is left. In Peabody mode, the colors change to orange and red. In Atlas, it changes to blue and purple. These aren't quite accurate to the game though, where yellow and light blue were used. To finish the change, the set includes plastic strips that attach to the outside with magnets. I kind of prefer this over flat paint, adds a bit of depth to the detail, but for something marketed for customizing, doesn't this seem limited? These are the only strips you get, no new colors or styles or added pieces to make it look how you want. All you get are some extra stickers, which isn't exactly a way to make this portal gun your own. Still, at a cheaper price point with a larger production run, this is probably the best version to get. It has limitations, but it's still way better than the limited edition versions. So with that, we have officially kicked off Toy Sember, and to see where it goes from here, wait till we open tomorrow's present.